Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome. Uh, if you're new here, please uh, tap on that little Anne Makes there in the bottom corner of the screen so you can subscribe and uh, join in on all the fun. And if you click on that bell too, you will receive notifications every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for being here. And today I have yet another a dollar rama dollar store dollar rama haul to share with you. I've been in and out of dollar stores lately, uh, more frequently because I've had a lot of errands to run. I've had a lot of driving around to do for people, so every chance I get, I I combine errands with the driving plane taxi. So. Uh, I should get it. I should Uber at this point, really. So, uh, <laughs> no, I don't have time for that. Uh, yeah, so here is what I purchased on a quick stop at Dollarama. I, first of all, I want to show is this bin. If you watch my videos, you know I like these storage bins. These are the ones at $3.50, I think. And they're nice and clear. And this time I got one with a white lid because it will be stored in my garage. Uh, and I'm going to put all my Canada Day decorations in here. So next year we'll be able to find things a little better because presently the system is we don't have a system. And things are just like tossed on shelves and, and stuffed in closets. And it's just like, it makes up. let's just put everything in one box. So that's what I'm going to do. So while I was at Dollarama, I picked up a few things. My intention was to get a couple more of these plastic stepping stones. I buy them a couple at a time each time. They are plastic, they're very lightweight, and I just buy a couple at a time because I'm not sure how many I want to get, and I am using these uh, on the ground between my my greenhouse and my vegetable garden because there's some spots on that are bare because that's constantly where I walk so I just thought I would create a cute little path on the cheap uh, for that so yeah, that's why I got these and oh sorry these are about 12 by 12 I think and it's three dollars and fifty cents for the two plastic stepping stones and they do last from year to year. Um, you know, they're not the highest quality, but I really don't care. It just, I'd rather step on those all the time than to step on mud when it, after it rains. So I use that. I saw the eye makeup remover and I thought it would be a good idea for me to have this. I love that it comes in this uh, little pump thing that you could just take your cotton swab and bloop, bloop, and there you go. You've got eye remover makeup and this is three dollars so it's a pretty good deal. The brand is Delon so this is a brand I think they make products or they it's they private label products for Dollarama. I don't know who, who makes the Delon product. I know these are not new but I had not hauled uh, these or I if I hauled them I didn't haul all the sets that are available and I just thought I would get them this trip because I use a lot of these little binder clips and put well the push pins I don't use as much but push pins and paper clips and larger paper clips and some more binder clips I use a lot of this in my office here and I was just using some the other day and I actually came like to the bottom of the dish that they're in so I thought oh that might give me an excuse to buy some new cute ones so that's what I did I just bought these new cute little clippy things office supply things and each one is a dollar fifty and they're just really pretty looking I couldn't help myself. I love these uh, writing journals that are lined with the leather cover. And this is a beautiful color. It says, Think, Write, Draw, Repeat. These are $4. They have 96 pages. And I just 
I love these journals, so I can't resist them when I see them at Dollarama, especially when it's a style or a, a quote or a color that I hadn't seen before. So I got myself another one. Well, like, this is the first one I have with this quote on it. So, oh, a fun thing I found, and this is, I think this is new at Dollarama. It is these quote magnets. I don't know if anybody else has seen these. So you get six of these magnets with these really fun quotes on them uh, or inspirational. And they are $2. So you get this one. I'll show you. I'll try to show you. I know it's very glare. There's a, like a big glare from the sheen of the, the shine of the light on the plastic. So uh, one says... One says, you must be the change you want to see, uh, you want to see in the world. The other one is, never let your fear decide your future. Then the blue one says, stop dreaming, uh, start doing. And then the yellow one here uh, says, action is the fundamental key to all success. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I am wise because I learn from mistakes. So I just thought these, these are great uh, inspirational, motivational quotes, uplifting, um, make nice little gifts for people. So I thought that. And then there were, they also have this one. And that one has uh, collect moments, collect moments, not things, forever and always, all you need is love, um, and then life is simple, then, oh, life is simple, it's just not easy, this, pla this place is still awesome, and enjoy the little things so very cute oh, like this this is very like vintage style looking almost like old metal signs and then this this one is really fun too with the retro look to it um it says make yourself at home just make yourself at home coffee coffee if you're not shaking you need another cup <laughs> you want same day laundry service do it yourself oh yeah this one, I am sticking, yeah, a couple of places in my house. Uh, sometimes too much drinks isn't enough. I am not old. I am retro. <laughs> That's funny. And beer is the reason I wake up every moment, every morning. Okay, well, the drinky ones I can't relate to, but I'm sure somebody can so finally I have these ones and these are probably my favorite because of the the ladies on here and they're quite sassy so we have uh, start the day with a smile and I can only please one person today I choose me <laughs> to save time let's assume I'm never wrong Oh yeah, this is, this is something I would say to my husband all the time. Just, you know, let's just forget about arguing this. <laughs> I don't do housekeeping on days that end in Y. I like that. And nobody is perfect, but I'm pretty close. <laughs> That's not me. Oh my God, my mother was right about everything. Isn't that every woman's nightmare? <laughs> so these uh, are so fun. You get a good giggle out of them. They're cute gifts, and they are $2. Another new item uh, is this, what do you call this? Photo clip lights. So I got two of them. Uh, this is $4, and it is a 15 light cord with 16 LED white lights and 16 removable clips so it's basically like a little clothesline you can hang it 
It is 15 feet long. It's got little lights, little clippies, and you can hang photos from there or whatever you'd like. I'm sure it has to be lightweight. It is operated using two AA batteries, and they are available. I, I saw these in silver, and that's what I chose for me. Uh, but they also had different colored uh, of these like little plastic clothespins. They had some in pink, if I remember correctly. I can't remember all the colors that they had. I think they had gold too, but I chose the silver ones. I got that, and I thought it might be useful to keep for like a party to celebrate somebody's birthday and to have different pictures of them hanging, or might also be good to clip small pieces of artwork to them, you know, for like a show that you're doing or an exhibition. So yeah, there's there's different uses. And I saw this cute little box of tiny little colored pencils. It is $2.50, and maybe it's a bit much, but you get 24, 24 tiny little coloring pencils. And I just thought, how cute. And this is just the perfect size, perfect little traveling kit for coloring on the go, coloring, you know, while you're sitting in the doctor's office waiting, or coloring in my car while I am uh, waiting yet again for <laughs> someone. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought these would be really cute and portable. I got them. I couldn't pass that up. I, these, I couldn't remember if I had, if these were new and if I had already hauled them, but I thought, eh, what the heck? These are such a good deal. Uh, little wooden embellishments. I call them little wooden die cuts. So they had the uh, flower motif, and then they have this one with butterflies. There's flowers in here too, and some leaves. So these little kits go for two dollars, and it's hard for me to tell you how many there are in here. I'll try to see if I can count them. One, oh boy, uh, one, two. Looks like there's four of each design. So there's nine, so there's like 36 little wooden embellishments. Nope, it says 45 here. Oh, I'm missing some. I didn't see all of them. Okay, so according to this, there's 45 little uh, wooden embellishments in each kit for $2. Excellent, excellent deal. Now, these are new also, so I had to get them because I love, love the colors. These are metal basket. They have, oh, they're kind of stuck together. They have this kind of lacy cutout of them. Just think they're really, really pretty. They coordinate so well with some plastic ones that I bought at uh, Dollar Tree. And these are $4. Um, little on the higher price, but they are metal. They're quite sturdy. And I just thought these were really cute and they could hold a lot of stuff, heavy stuff, even liquid stuff uh, in my studio. So I got two of those in the color that they had. Actually, my store only had two of the pink, two of the mint here that I'm trying to show you, but it's kind of stuck to the other basket. It's kind of a minty teal color. It doesn't look like that on, on screen, I know, but it's more of a minty color. And I'm going to use the mint green color one uh, in my greenhouse because I always need to put things in a little basket or box in my greenhouse. And plastic doesn't last. It gets really brittle after being in the sun all summer. Cardboard also doesn't do very well. So I thought, and I, but I know the metal metal does well. It gets hot, but it does well. So I need some metal tin contain some more metal tin container type things for holding tools and gloves and things like that in my uh, little greenhouse. So speaking of uh, greenhouse, well, actually, no, I'm, never mind what I just said there. Uh, they have these wall hooks. They are like iron wall hooks, and they have this faux verdigris on them. Uh, they're really substantially, they're substantial, they're heavy, and they have these 
beautiful beautiful designs they had hearts as well as these cute birds and butterflies and they have this little knob on the end that's like little porcelain type I'm not gonna I don't think it's real porcelain but porcelain type it's probably a type of plastic or resin and I uh, just thought they're so beautiful these are three dollars and my intention at first was to use these um, in my studio, but I have no area left to actually hang these. So I think I will go put these in um, a bathroom that we have near our pool, and they will be great for holding those wet towels. Of course, I picked up a couple snacks. Got some coffee crisp and some O. Henry and the 10 pack. I think these are two dollars. I can't remember. Yeah, these are two dollars a piece. I picked up another one of the stackable locker shelf, and I might go back uh, to get some other ones. Maybe in if they have some in green, that would be perfect, and I will use that also in my uh, greenhouse or my garden shed. Uh, but I, I'm really not sure if I needed to pick up another one of these, but I did because I know that when I get an idea to use these, I will regret not having more than one. So I got another one of these stackable locker shelves, and uh, these are, I think they're $4. They, yeah, the last time I bought one of these, it was $4. So I got that. <clears throat> Oh, when I saw these, I thought, oh, I have to get these because uh, the other day I wanted to laminate some uh, color charts I had made and I was out of the the self -ad the self adhesive laminate the, this kind of laminating sheets. I only had the ones left. I have to go through my laminator. And I didn't want to use them because they're real, they're, you know, it's kind of wasteful because I didn't need the whole sheet. So anyway, but uh, so when I saw this at the dollar store, uh, you get three of these self-adhesive laminating sheets. You don't have to use a machine for these. And they are $2.50. But I, also, I have also used these in the laminator and they do work. Uh, finally, I have this white paper to share. Uh, it is by DCWV, which die cuts with a view, the scrapbook um, supply making manufacturer. And this paper measures eight and a half by 14. And it seems to be of nice quality. It is acid free like most of the scrapbook papers are. There are 20 sheets in here. Uh, it seems very nice and I purchased it because I go through so much paper that I thought one day I'm going to need this size of paper and I'm going to have to dash off to the office supply store and pay a lot more than the $1.50 I just paid for this package. So that's why I got them. I picked up this, they call this a pencil box. They have smaller ones but... Uh, I thought I would get myself one of these large ones um, and of course I chose one with a pink top. They are three dollars and of course this is going to stay again here in my studio for storing different types of supplies, maybe uh, a collection of pens, markers. I'm, I'm not sure yet but I know it's going to get used uh, and I like that these stack well. So got that. And new at Dollarama, and I, this is uh, a Dollarama that I went to just a couple days ago, so this is really new stuff. Uh, they had these like types of small, sort of palette looking uh, wood pieces. You get this nice palette. They do have some splinters, uh, but it's pretty smooth on the front, but the edges um, could use a little sanding. They're four dollars and they're quite large, quite nice. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I thought I have to bring one home and figure something out. And I, I have ideas. I know people decorate these, paint these. I've seen a lot of that. Um, you know, when I've been to shows and conferences, 
I've also seen people use S hooks on these to hang things. I just, yeah, there's, there's many, many possibilities. So I just wanted to have this in my arsenal. <laughs> so I got this for $4. The next thing I want to show you, I did see uh, my friend Tina, Tina Kazarian, please check out her channel. Uh, she hauled these and I thought, oh, what a good deal. What a good deal. Uh, I hope I can find these myself and I did my store had them available these these are double tipped markers they are alcohol based double ended markers you do have the very wide chisel tip at one end and the uh, bullet tip at the other and uh, I did already swatched these out on um, my book that I have. I have a swatch book for all my colored markers. And yes, these are still sealed, but I bought two sets of each color. Um, so I got this set, which is mostly pinks, magenta looking purpley colors. They have numbers on them. And I have to say that the colors are very close. The actual ink colors are very close to the caps, the cap colors. And I also got this one. It's a like bluish teal color. Again, the ink colors do match pretty close to the caps. Not all of them, but, and they also have this set of blues. That. And finally, the other set my store has uh, or had are these grays. So, so in here, in the grays, you get a warm gray and a cool gray, and then the other gray is just a number. So, you get three alcohol ink double-ended markers for two dollars and I already uh, played with them a little bit let me get my swatch book so here's the swatch here's the swatch I made of the artist series uh, alcohol ink markers from Dollarama and this is what the colors look like in all with all the, the pens I purchased I, I purchased uh, two of each set that are, were available at my store. And they, of course, they bleed through. This is like index card, index card papers. It is, it is, a, it's a spiral bound index card. So, of course, they bleed through this kind of paper. They are alcohol ink markers. And I, I can even show you in, in my swatch book here. This is all alcohol ink based markers and... This is just a bunch of colors, different markers that I have that are not my Copics. Uh, my Copics are in uh, another system. But uh, these are just my all my, my Bix, my dollar stores, my, I have Spectrum Noir. I, I have a whole, I, I have a whole bunch of different brands of alcohol-based ink markers. And I play with them. I mix them all together and I do keep my Copics in a separate case uh, just because I always have because I have been educated I am supposed to be a Copic intermediate educator so I've always kept them in their own separate case so I could be ready to teach a class but um, as far as my other ones are they're all mixed together and I just separate them by color or color families and uh, I have to say that these these are not bad for two dollars oh my god uh, if you are interested in starting out with alcohol ink markers check these out if you if you can find them uh, if you have a dollarama in your area go there and check them out and spend your money on this first and play around with this type before you go and invest in a very, very, very expensive professional uh, markers. Uh, I think if you're a crafter, you don't need to spend all that money on those um, overly priced markers. But, um, and I know, I even know illustrators and 
artists that work with these, especially if you're going to make uh, artwork that you're not selling the original, but you're going to sell prints of. Uh, these are perfect. So, and they play well with, like I said, the very expensive markers, no problem. So if you don't want your alcohol ink base markers to leak, you need to use a really good quality marker type papers. So that's, that's a little harder to find here in Canada, but it does exist. And uh, if, you, if you can't afford that kind of paper, look maybe for some photo type of paper or some more glossy papers and really thick. And, always rem and remember to always put uh, scrap paper underneath whatever you're coloring so you don't st accidentally stain uh, your desk or whatever your work, whatever's underneath your uh, coloring paper that you're using. So uh, that is it for my Dollarama haul, my little tip on alcohol ink based markers. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as soon as I'm done with all these videos that I'm, you, if you're watching all my videos, the, the late, latest videos, you're saying me in the same outfit. Yes, it's because I'm shooting them all in one day. Because I want to go outside and play because the weather is beautiful. It's not too hot. It's just great. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I would so appreciate a like, a comment. Please share my videos. Take care of yourself. And I will see you after the next video. Bye. Bye.